Good morning, church. Shall we rise up and begin to appreciate the Lord Almighty for today, for another opportunity he has given us to be gathered in his presence. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. King of glory, we magnify your name. Everlasting Father, we say thank you. King of glory, we say thank you. Lord of lords, we say thank you. The I am that I am, we say thank you. We appreciate you, O oh Lord. Let us begin to adore him. Let us begin to appreciate him. Let us begin to say thank you, Jesus. In every language you can speak, begin to appreciate the Lord Almighty. It is of the Lord that we are, you and I are here today. Let us appreciate him. Do not let us take it for granted. Holy Spirit, I say thank you. Eternal Rock of Ages, I worship you. King of glory, I magnify your name. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I say thank you, Lord. 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 For your faithfulness, I say thank you. For your mercy, I say thank you. For your love, I say thank you. For protection, I say thank you. For the breath of life, I do not take it for granted. Father, accept my thanks. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us pray for today's service. Let us commit it into the hands of the Almighty Father that the King of glory himself will descend even in a way he has never descended before in our midst today that none of us shall live here the same way we came in in the mighty name of Jesus that by the time we live here we shall be better versions of ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus that Holy Spirit will minister unto our body, soul and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we commit today's service into your hands. Begin to pray begin to pray. Be coming today's service into your hands. Holy Spirit, we pray for divine impartation into our lives in the name of Jesus that as we shall listen to your words today, Father, Lord, your words will take root in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus and it shall change our lives for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every stony heart. We come against every weedy heart. We turn against every thorny heart in the mighty name of Jesus that as the seed of your word reach our hearts, O oh Lord. They shall begin to germinate. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall begin to germinate. In the mighty name of Jesus, not only will they germinate, they shall produce good fruit in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do not want to live here the same way we came in. Heavenly Father, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us commit every form of ministration into the hands of the Lord Almighty, starting with this opening prayer unto the choir ministration, unto the testimonies, unto the uh, sermon itself. Let us ask the Lord Almighty to take absolute control. We want to hear from him in all these different forms. We want to hear from God. But let us ask God to speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord. We commit all the various ministrations into your hands. Holy Spirit, we ask that you speak to us, that you minister to us, that you take absolute control. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us charge uh, uh, this atmosphere with Holy Ghost fire. We charge this atmosphere with Holy Ghost fire. We charge this atmosphere with Holy Ghost fire. Spirit of God, descend upon us. Descend in our midst. Descend in our midst. Take control, take control, take control. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you. We exalt your holy name as we open this today's service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can we lift up our living hands to say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. To say thank you, Jesus. You left this place last week and you have been through many things during the week. God has been faithful. He's the one that has taken you through everything. He has been doing everything for you. He's the sustainer of your life. He's the owner of your breath that you are claiming today. The breath in you is the one that is making you be called a living. He's the owner of that breath. Not the money in your hand has given you that. God is behind all the goodness in your life. You cannot be proud of anything. God owns it all. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our voice and sing this song. Lift up our, your hands and let's declare this song to that God. For the life you gave to me, I've come to say thank you. 
for the good things you've done for me. I've come to say thank you. And I just want to say, Father, thank you. I just want to say, Jesus, thank you. Oh, I just want to say, I just want to say, thank you. Up your hands and tell him thank you. Thank you for the life you gave to me. I've come to say thank you for the healing you gave to me. I've reached on your praise, and I just want to pour out from my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I just want to say, my Father, thank you, Lord. And I just want to say, Lord, I just want to say, say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I just want to say, Children, you gave to me. Yes, Lord, I want to say thank you. Because you didn't bury any child, right? For the life you gave to us, we return your glory. And we just want to say, Daddy, we thank you for many, 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 many things. We just want to say, Daddy, thank you, thank you. And we just want to say, we just want to say, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Oh, we just want to say, Father, Listen, when you are eating, the food did not go to the wrong side. And you are not rushed to the hospital, just your food. You are walking. No car hits you on the road. No car knock you down. Just lift up your hands and tell him thank you, Lord. Your money cannot give you that life. Yes. Oh, we just want to say. We just want to say, Daddy, Daddy, thank you. We just want to say, we just want to say, we just want to say, Father, 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 Father. We just want to say, Listen to this song. Listen to this song. Amazing God. Amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing God, a lot of those show don't do your pain in your love. Amazing God, amazing. God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing God, amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Hey, amazing, amazing God, amazing God, amazing God, amazing God, amazing God. Oh, you do mind blowing things. You do. Amazing Jesus, amazing. 
testimony i'll say thank you lord anytime you see the light of a new day what do you say anytime i see and not the breaking of the day i will just say i will just say thank you my god thank you my god thank you my god anytime i see about you has never happened at all. I will never be ungrateful to yes. you, Lord. I will always be grateful to you, Jesus. I, I will, will always be grateful to you, Lord. Oh, I will always be grateful to you, Jesus. Time is worthy of the season you are. 
have been the reason. You 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 have been the reason. We are so singing. Jehovah. Are you ready to dance to the Lord? Are you ready to shake your body to the only, only owner of your life? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you still standing? Ah. Eh, eh, eh. What are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. No one like you, daddy. No one like you. Hey, out of the darkness you shine. Come on now. You open the eyes of the blind. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. You say, you say, you say, our God is great. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger, God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's a serving power, oh my God. Hey. Our God is great, yeah. our God is stronger, God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's a serving power, oh my God. Morning time, throw a salute. In the morning time, throw a salute. Anytime you see, throw a salute. In the morning time, throw a salute. 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 To the King of Kings. To the Lord of us. To the Father Lord. To the King of Kings. Oh God, I the help, help. I throw a salute. I serve a living God, oh. 
true, not true, not true. I serve a living God. Everybody know. Say now nah, you the real. I serve a living God. Come on now. Hallelujah, 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 Amen. Let us be standing. Let us stand up, please. Let us continue our service. We continue our service this morning with our devotional aim for this uh, service. Uh, it's taken from our Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministries aim book. Uh, aim number, number 10. Aim number 10. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, hail thee as the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away, give of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee. Earth and heaven reflect thy rays. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, blossoming meadow, flashing sea, chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. Thou art giving and forgiving, 
ever blessing, ever blessed, well spring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Thou our Father, Christ our brother, all who live in love are dying. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine. Joyful, joyful, we adore the God of glory, Lord of love. A song for life, love for the heavy as a sun above. May the clouds of sin and sadness drive the dark of doubt away. Give our immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works we joy surround thee, earth and heaven really fly thy rays. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Freedom, forest, veil, and mountain, blossom, made of flashing sea. Chanting, blood, and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. Thou art giving and forgiving, ever blessing, ever blessed. Where spring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. The Father, Christ our brother, all who live in love are dying. Teach us how to love each other, lead us to the joy divine. Mortals join the mighty chorus, which the morning stars began. Father, love is reign over us, brother, love minds man to man. Ever singing, might we onward be us in the midst of strife. Joyful music, lift us somewhat in the triumph song of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. You are all welcome to the uh, presence of the Almighty God. We want to appreciate the name of the Lord for another privilege to be in the land of the living. For the grace to be among the living today, it is a privilege, it is not a right. Therefore, may God accept all our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. It is time for our set the scripture. Uh, this is the manual we are using. If uh, there's anyone among us who doesn't have, uh, please let us just go to our bookstore behind and get a copy for ourselves. Uh, what we gain from this book is quite 
enormous. It is more than the price itself. So let us uh, get a copy for ourselves as we shall go into our different classes now. Let us go to our different classes now. Our teachers are already waiting for us to minister the word of God to us. And I pray that this word...
Amen. 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 Testimony time. Testimony time. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. The totality of our being, Father, say thank you. For if it is not for you, O oh Lord, my Father, maybe we have not, we have been where we supposed not to have been. Many are in the mortuary. Many went to bed yesterday, but they do not wake up this morning. Some wake up, but they are in a vegetable state. Father, you have made us to stand on our feet. What can we give in exchange of what you have done? Father, let your name forever be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We are very grateful that we have a father like you. Father, be thou be glorified forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are coming to share their testimony, Lord Jesus, testimony shall not cease in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this your house, oh Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, testimony shall not cease. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' miracle working name, we pray. Hey. First testifier. Please, if you are testifying, come by the entrance. Your name and what God has done for you. Good morning, beloved. My name is Sister Joyce. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Um, I've come to return all the glory unto the almighty God. Last week Sunday when I was coming, you know, to church, so I was inside the car and, you know, that's my norms. So I was praying, I was, all my prayer was mercy of God, mercy of God. So when we got to, when, you know, when we, when we got to church, I still kept on, you know, praying the mercy of God. So when uh, Pastor Tosin, you know, climbed the pulpit, um, I didn't see him like one of us here, you know. I was just looking, seeing something like an angelic human being on the earth, you know, because sometimes we take things for granted, you know, out of familiarity. You understand what I'm talking about? So I was just looking at, I, was, I wasn't seeing Pastor Tosin. I was looking at an angelic being. And to crown it all, so most of this, so the topic was, what do you want? So I said, God, what do I want? So I said, I mentioned it. I said, I want with this, I want that. So mo majority of the prayer points, if you remember, was mercy of God, right? I didn't know that. that so I prayed out of my heart. I didn't know that the mercy was already waiting for me in my place of work. So I just want to thank God for his mercies, for the great thing that he did for me at my job place. And I give him all the glory. Can you, can every, can the church help me to shout just three hearty hallelujah to the almighty God. Hallelujah. 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 We cover your testimony in the pool of the blood of Jesus. You are going higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Second testifier. Your name and what God has done for you. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. God is good all of the time. Amen. In Jesus' name. I just want to thank God. My name is Sister Margaret. To be precise, Margaret Fofana. I want to bless God for standing here at this pulpit of the Lord. I come to give him thanks and praise for what this man has done for me, my family. It's not an easy thing for a woman to carry a family. Most especially when you fall in the line of a widow. But I bless God for what he has been doing and his hands are always on me. I want to thank God he has made me a super grandmother. 
When we reach certain numbers, we don't count again. I just divide them by the counties or wherever they are from. On the 21st, God added a mighty man. I don't say boy. Once you born, you, man, you are a man into the family as one of the pillars. Yes. And I want to bless God for my life. Because from since last year, if you can observe, I was, you know, yeah, in the services of this service. Because the enemies were fighting, but God did not allow them. Yes. And I want you to join me to pray for my grandkids, especially the marvelous uh, destiny, because their father's side is going through a whole lot. And only God, their grandmother from the father's side passed last year, and one of their uncles passed. He was shot in front of the mother, and yesterday, one of their uncles passed. So I want the church to pray for them as you will pray for your children and your grandchildren. Yes. I bless God for the church. I bless God for our pastor who do not relent. Always on his knees. Lifting us up in prayers. May his name be glorified. I thank you all. Thank you Jesus. We cover your testimony in the pool of the blood of Jesus. The mighty hands of God shall uphold your family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number three. Your name and what God has done for you. Good morning, brethren. Praise the Lord. God. If you are a child of God, you should always put trust in God. And when you are praying, believe that what you ask God, he will do it for you. So I'm standing, I'm so high, I don't even know where to start. My, you start. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. I'm thanking God because I had this burden in my heart. My son, one of my son, is getting to 50. September, he'll be 48. He did not want to marry. And each time when I asked him, I said, ha, he said, don't go that way. <laughs> so finally, I asked him, I said, are you? He said, no. <laughs> So I said, okay. I said, are you? He said, don't go that way. <laughs> I said, okay. Are you a man? Or he said, mommy, leave me alone. I said, okay. And I keep on talking, talking. And but I saw that the talking is not going anywhere. So I went to God. I said, father, you say a man should marry. And this boy. Is due to marry. I said, you have. I said, I got married when I was 20. So I don't see why he would tell me that not everybody supposed to marry. I said, okay. So I stayed quiet. So the baby sister, who is my granddaughter's uh, mother, one day she said, mommy, don't you think we have to pray for Brother Emmanuel? I said, okay, let's join her and pray for him. So we're praying. But I was still asking my sister, uh, I want to call my grandson and say, keep on dreaming. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, everybody is married. They have children. Look at sister. She has children. I said, keep on dreaming. I said, all right. So, but I keep on praying for him. But what made me to be happy or I'm so glad is because this Friday was the birthday of her baby sister's birthday, 22nd of March. That was the day now she, he has got married. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 
So I, I follow everything on the phone, how they went to they went traditional marriage on Thursday, Friday they went to court, Saturday, and so forth and so forth. So they, I follow everything they were sending me, the picture. So I say, ah, how come now the person that said not everybody supposed to marry? I said, but Lord, I thank you. So I said, okay, let me, we are at the bus stop when she called again. So I said, how is my daughter-in-law? He said, she's sleeping. I said, I know, tired. No. So I said, did I pray for you? He said, yeah, you prayed for us yesterday. <laughs> I, <laughs> so he said, I said, so hi. He said, we are just coming from the temple. I said, ah, thank God, though. I said, but you know what? Because you have overdue. The firstborn, my God, will bless you with twins. Yeah. I said, you have a boy and a girl. Yeah. And she t- he said, amen. I said, praise God. <laughs> so I was so happy. It was my body. It was really body to me. That how can he stay without a wife? And he will tell you. So I was thinking a different thing. But thank God, what I was thinking was not what I supposed. So I thank God so much because he has wiped away my tears. Praise the Lord. We cover your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Next testifier. Good morning, church. My name is Brother Eugene. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm standing here now is that um, everything that the devil had tried, tried everything, either to get rid of me or whatever that they tried to do, but God said, no, not my child. And to, um, to really top it up, this is a leap year, and God had give, given me, led me to complete that 366 days. And the Lord shared me now to another 365 that will be completed, no matter what the devil tries. In Jesus' name. Amen. As your day, so shall your strength be in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we have one written testimony. One of us um, put something in the fire. And absent-mindedly, he left. But thank God, the God of this mountain that was able to quicken her up. Go and check what you put on the fire. And by the time you, uh, the person got there, there is no more water. The thing has already been boiling by itself. But we thank God. We thank God. We thank God for who he is in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we wait for our youth for a testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Um, we have come to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Starting from our Father in the Lord. Also to the new Adonia Christian Church. Praise the Lord. Okay. I think that's better. Um, we have come to say thank you. Thank you to, to the pastor of this church, also our father, um, to the men and the women of this church. Um, we used to feel that we were just a little part of this church, but then we saw what the community did on our behalf yesterday, and we're just so, 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 so grateful that we can call our mommies and our daddies and everyone can just leave almost everything that they're doing, and they came to help us. Um, for those of you that were not here, uh, you know that we've been um, showing an announcement about something new 
that God has started in this mega region one, um, which is we're trying as much as possible through the grace of God to build the grassroots. There's so much going on, and I know that some of you that were here yesterday, um, you saw, even in the area of the mental health, you saw some of the questions that were popping up on the screen. And um, these are the things that we don't want to share away from because these things are real. And uh, we don't want them to go outside to get a solution because the solution is right here in the house of God. It started from here. And this is the only place that they can get the right tools, the right help, and also the community that they need. Um, so, you know, I, I just want to say thank you, Jesus, and thank you to, to everyone. And please, this is just the beginning, as we said. There's a whole lot more that is coming up. There's going to be part two, part three, part hundred of these things. And we believe, <laughs> we believe that it's not just starting with us. It started with everyone here, and it will, we will hand on that baton to the next generation to come Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, I want to say thank you to my team. Thank you so much. Thank you. These, these people, are, they're wonderful. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Shall we be on our feet? When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done in my life, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. Amen. 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 And you pray for yourself like this. Every power. Every, power. every evil power. Every evil power. Assigned to destroy my portion. To destroy my portion. Angels of God. Angels of God. Arise and destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Uh, we are now into the Bible reading. The Bible reading for this service shall be taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, reading from verses 1 to the end. Genesis 37, reading from 1 to the end. And Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Deha and with the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his brethren, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the, she in the field. And lo, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheep stood round about and made obeisance to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? 
or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and, and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamt? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to the, to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. Verse 12, and his brethren went to feed, to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, do not, do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, here am I. And he said to him, go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beasts have devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. 21. And Reuben had it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben sent unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass. When Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread. And they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and mouth, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our bread brother and conceal his blood? Come, and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. 28. Then there passed by Midianites, merchant men, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes, and he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I wither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors and they brought it to their father and said, this have we found. Know now whether it be thy son or son's coat or no. And he knew it and said, it is my son's coat and evil beasts have devoured him. Joseph is without Doubt rent in pieces, and Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth upon his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted, 
And he said, for I will go down into the grave unto my son money. Thus his father wept for him. That is the last verse. And the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. May the Lord bless his word into our hearts. I can see you working, working. 
I can see you working, working. Atmosphere is changing, changing. Atmosphere is changing, changing. Atmosphere is changing, changing. I believe it. I receive it. Miracles are staring, staring. Miracles are staring, staring. Miracles are staring, staring. I believe it. I receive it. I believe it. I receive it. I believe it. I receive it. Be welcomed in this place. Come in and it's all our praise. Lord, you are worthy, God of our glory. This is the anthem we will raise. Be welcome in this place. Come in our bits all our praise. Lord, you are worthy, God of our glory. This is the anthem we will raise. Be welcome in this place. Come in our bits all our praise. Lord, you are worthy. God of our glory, this is the anthem we will raise. The anthem we will raise. The anthem we will raise. Be welcome in this Just clap your hands, come on. Just clap your hands, come on. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you, you oh Lord. Lord. We magnify. We magnify your name. We worship you. We worship you, oh Lord. Lord. Magnify. We magnify your name. Everybody, come on. We praise you, oh Lord. Magnify. We magnify your name. We worship, we worship you, you oh Lord. We magnify. We magnify your name. Everybody, everybody, everybody. everybody clap, clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Everybody, everybody. Everybody. Clap your hands. Come on. Everybody. Clap your hands. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Clap your hands. Uh, everybody, oh, clap your hands. This is the way. This is the way we praise him. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. Better clap those hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. The Bible says what? Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. Hallelujah. We Clap praise you, you. We, we praise you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We magnify. We magnify your name. We worship, we worship you, oh Lord. Magnify, magnify. We magnify your name. Everybody, everybody, everybody. everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on. Everybody, clap your hands. This is the way. This is the way we praise him. You better clap those hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. Better clap those hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. The Bible says what? Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. Oh, yes. Clap Lifting your hands. Our voice. Lifting our voice. Clap your hands. Everybody, clap your hands. Come on, everybody. 
Clap your hands. Everybody, clap your hands. This is the way. This is the way we praise him. You better clap your hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. You better clap those hands. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. The Bible says what? Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. You better clap those. Clap your hands. This is the way we praise him. You better clap those. Clap your hands, this is the way we praise him. Come on, uh, uh, clap uh. Your hands. This, this is, is the way, way we praise him. Better clap those hands. Clap your hands, this, this is the way we praise him. Clap those hands. Clap your hands, and this, this is, is the way we praise him. Hallelujah. Clap those hands. Clap your hands, this, this is the way we praise him. Clap those hands. Clap your hands, this, this is the way we praise him. You better clap. Clap your hands, this, this is the way we, we praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Clap your hands. Like this and like that, y'all. Like this and like that, y'all. Uh, 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 yeah. Throw them up, throw them up. Yeah. Clap those hands. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the way. This is the way we praise him. Let somebody shout hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. Please be seated just for a few minutes. God bless you. Amen. Just a few announcements. Um, by the grace of God, the first prayer meeting for the women in this area that is New York exists, will be holding April 28th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's holding in person, not virtually. So all the mommies in the house, you are invited to come in so that we'll pull it together by the grace of God. And the Mega Regions Conference for Women is coming up May 25th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please save this date. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the living Jesus. I have a very good news for everyone. First of all, clap for Jesus. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. By the grace of God, our Father in the Lord, the General of Asia, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, will be ministering in New York September 21-22. This year in Jesus' name. If you are excited, can I hear you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. So the last time Joe was there was 2015. So time flies. Actually, COVID stole time because it ought to happen 2019, but for COVID. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know when Joe is coming, it's big work. And this time around, we are not the only host. It's going to because of it's going to be for all the churches in our mega region. So it's not New York alone. It's for all of us, all of us who will be involved. So it's a lot of work and it's a lot of uh, involvement. And I believe God 
that God is going to make use of you. God is looking for people to use, and you are number one to be used. If you are that person, a loud amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I remember the first time, the last time Gio came, and I came on this pulpit and said, um, the all we are going to use is going to call that cost thirty thousand dollars. Some people say, "Hey," and I said, "Don't worry, you don't need to scream. Calm down. <laughs> Jesus will be is more than enough to make it happen." And I remember on that day, as I left the pulpit, a woman just walked into this room with me and said. I had this money in my hand. I wanted to use it for a business. But because of this meeting, I'm giving it, putting it down. I said, is that how God answers prayer? I have not left the pulpit. I was still here. And one friend of mine, she's looking at me now. One day she walked up to me in the office. I said, Pastor, this check, this envelope is a sacrifice. It's just for the crusade. And I didn't even open it. I said, since it is a sacrifice for God, it is not meant for my eyes. So I just handed it over to the people until I saw the check I knew it was a sacrifice. But one good thing I can tell you is that the person would not tell me he didn't see God's hand immediately. Because in <laughs> the person is looking at me. <laughs> because not too long after the he, he, he did the sacrifice. She came to me and said, God came in a very powerful way. Said they promoted me unexpectedly and gave me X amount of salary instantly. So is that how God honors those who honor him? I said, yeah. Amen. Somebody is looking at me. The, the very first day we mentioned, they said, look, pastor, this is this one. So in Jesus' name, you won't be left behind. Um, so the first help that is needed is prayer help. I'm looking for people, I'm begging for people that will start praying from now until the day that crusade runs after that crusade and keep on praying. God will want to see you on those days. That is the first help that I'm begging for. Anyone here that will say, Lord, I will pray towards the program. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. Praying ahead, praying for our Father and Lord himself. Praying that God will use the program to draw people to himself. That people will be saved. People that men have said, this one will follow the devil. Suddenly, during that meeting, they will turn back and say, I will follow Jesus. That is the first prayer. That is the first major thing that must be done. Secondly, is that money is needed. And I believe God will raise people. Amen. By the grace of God, we'll be using Ofstra University this time around. And it's, going, it's a stadium-like event. Because the last time, the all we rented, when people started praying, the building started shaking. Police came and said, nobody can enter again. So that's why we're moving it to a stadium-like place. But it's good to use stadium. But to get sound and video for stadium is over $100,000. Somebody turned the head. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many people like Big Crusade? Uh, big Crusade is a big involvement. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I say something? Don't worry. God's level is always more than enough. More. It has never failed before. It can't fail now. It has always been more than enough. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, so audio alone, audio visual alone is over $100,000 minus other things. Don't shake your head. I'm believing God. It's you God will use. If God can trust you, he will use you. It's you God will use. It's you God will use. Say it's, say it's me God will use. It's me. It's a, uh, I'm not looking for another person. It's me. God will use. Amen. If God can trust you, he will do it through you. Amen. So by the grace of God, we're setting up a team of people to earn the crusade 
um, handle it. I'm going to mention our chairman for that meeting, for that group. Brother Maxwell Madu, where is Brother Maxwell? Where is he? Oh, you're there. Archbishop Maxwell Madu, please rise up on your feet. Amen. Sister Anne Tucker. Sister Anne Tucker, yeah. Sister Genia. Help me call Brother Ola. Brother Ola. Sister Bimbola. Sister Fumi Jemi Luba. If, if I call, if you add your name, just rise up on your feet. Um, Brother Chris Obianke. And Sister Yemi Akirili. Where are your people? They're coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Uh -huh. So Abimbola, okay, sister for me. Praise the Lord. Did you did you hear my announcement? Praise the Lord. I said, by the grace of God, we are raising up a team for the crusade funding. So the team is headed by Archbishop Maxwell Madu. Uh, <laughs> assisted by Sister Annette and the rest of you standing. Can you please stretch your hands towards them and pray for them? Lift up your voice and pray. God will achieve great things by their hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, you have succeeded. So God bless you in Jesus' name. So if you have, amen, if you have any giving, any check you want to give specifically towards this, this crusade, just look for them, give it to them. Crusade fund, crusade for crusade, 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 crusade. Amen. amen. And your loudest, amen. amen. And the glorious, amen. amen. Can you please rise up on your feet and give Jesus all, all the glory, honor, and power. And look at the person by your side. Welcome them with a smile. And give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome the people around you. Look for somebody you don't know and welcome the person. Ask the person, who, what's your name? Who are you? Just welcome them. Just welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Move around and welcome God's people. Tell them God brought you here on purpose for a purpose. Welcome them. Welcome people around you. Welcome them. Welcome the people. Welcome them. Move around and welcome the people. Welcome them joyfully. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. God bless you. Welcome the people of God. Welcome them. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We praise you. Welcome the people. Move around. Don't just stay. Look for somebody. Iron sharpened iron. Father, we worship you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. 
Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We worship you, we exalt you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we give God praise. Amen. If you enter any church and you don't find laughter, what should you do? Relocate. Better run. And if you find anywhere they tell you the Holy Ghost is there and they are not praiseful, what should you do? Run away. Because when Pentecost came, the scripture said, and the Lord gave them other tongues and they were magnifying God. That was what they were doing with the tongue. They had them doing what? Magnifying God. How many people have the Holy Ghost here this morning? The Spirit of God is inside of you. It is the Spirit of gratitude. It is the Spirit of praise. Just open your mouth and tell God you are good. Open your mouth and tell God you are good. Let God hear you if you are saying it. If you are saying it, let God hear you. Let God hear you. If you are saying it, you're good. If you are saying it, let God hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Oh, my soul, oh, worship is only
Lord, all around me. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Oh, the lottery. Why don't Jesus give us more land? Until we are blessed, until we are so in the lottery. And shield to you alone, make my spirit with you. for bringing us there this morning and thank you because you have called us before your presence not because we have a right but because you called us Lord in this very short prayer meeting we ask of you that destinies would change for the best I cover everyone in this service and everything that gives you joy with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And your loudest, amen. And the thunderous, amen. Please receive that God bless you. Greet the person by us. I said, the Lord bless you mightily. Amen. Amen. I want.
want to beg you for something. If you are allergic to prayer, this morning is not going to be pleasant. <laughs> but if you are here this morning and you want something new, please pray. I'm going to speak briefly on what I call your coat of many colors and household wickedness. Your coat of many colors and what? Household wickedness. Your coat of many colors and household wickedness. And when you talk about household wickedness, it goes beyond people you share the same DNA with. There are people in your life closer to you than members of your family. So they are part of your household. So your coat of many colors and household wickedness. Micah chapter 7, I'm reading verse 6. For the son dishonored the father, the daughter riseth, riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And if you open the Bible passage, what did it say? A man's enemies are the men of his own house. We read here today Genesis chapter 37. Genesis chapter 37. We read today Genesis 37. And I'm reading few passages because of time. We need to pray and we have a time schedule. I read from verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Verse 19. And they said one to another, Behold, the dream I cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us lay him, and cast him into some pit, and we will say some evil beasts have devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. I jump to verse 23. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. Verse 25. And after doing that, they did something. And they sat down to eat bread, and they did lift up their eyes and looked. And behold, the company of Ishmael had came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and mire, going to carry it down to Egypt. Let me share with you two things that will happen in this morning's service. And it's in two stories, two testimonies of people. I think it should be the deliverance before the last one. There's one sister in this church in that meeting, we prayed, Lord, show me secrets. Show me secrets. Expose to me things that are fighting me, but I don't know. When she got home from that meeting, she got a call from somebody close to her. 
And the person said, I need to tell you something. I said, what? He said, I have been monitoring you with a mirror for long. But something came on me and said, go and confess. And that is why things are not going well with you. I have a mirror with which I can see you everything about you. And I scatter things in your life. But it seems you have started praying. And some force, a power is forcing me, go and confess. So one of the things that will happen here this morning is that there will be confessions. That's number one thing that will happen. Number two thing that will happen in this service, I will tell you. Uh, many years ago, when we see old palmers change hands on our own, no connection then before the internet age. In that palmers change hands program, it got to a level we just pray, everybody should start praying, Lord, arise, fight for me. Lord, arise, fight for me. Lord, arise, fight for me. That was the prayer. And a sister was angry in that service, and she prayed. While she was praying in Amsterdam, God was answering the prayer in Suriname. There was somebody who was a terrorist in the family. Everybody knows she has spoiled the life of men, but nobody could do anything. Suddenly, while the prayer was going on at Palmer's Changeant, the person was cooking. And something strange happened. Fire jumped from the stove and cut the two hands and wasted the two hands. So in this morning service too, there will be judgment. So the hand that is working to spoil your life, fire will go from here. Yeah. So two things will happen. There will be confessions and there will be judgment. Yeah. Your coat of many colors and household wickedness. Your coat of many colors and household wickedness. That is what we're praying about. I'm starting by saying this. The first problem Joseph had with his brothers was that his father loved him. His father did what? Loved him. The only way that people will not be threatened by your presence is if you are like everybody. If you are not distinct. You know, beings look alike. So, if there is nothing distinguishing you from people around you, you have no problem. But if there is something peculiar about you, you attract resistance. Once you are preferred above others, you come under a rage. It's a fact of life. The only way you can kick backbiters away from your life is if you are at the back. How many people want to be at the back? Not me. Uh -huh. So let backbiters stay at the back. So the only way to kick backbiters out of your story is if you are where? At the back. The second problem Joseph had was that he discovered himself. The day you discover yourself, you become a dreamer. Once you discover yourself, you become a threat to men that have not found themselves. Once you discover what? Yourself. 
you will become what? A threat to men that have not found themselves. That is number two reason. And number three reason was because he discovered himself, he could talk about their position in the spirit. All these people around me, they are going to bow down before me. Can I make an announcement concerning somebody? All those that have bowed that you cannot reign, heaven will compel them to bow. He was not the one who said he, was, he wanted to reign. It was God who made it that position and said, this is what I'm going to do. He didn't, fight, he didn't pray for it. God designed, determined it. I'm praying again, the power that does not lack the handwriting of heaven upon your life. Say this is what God wrote concerning him. Let the power be put to shame. Let your amen be louder than that. Uh -huh. so, so they can't just tolerate the handwriting of God on him. So this is what God wrote about him. So we must wipe it out. They can't tolerate it. They can't tolerate it. They can't tolerate it. They can't tolerate that handwriting. There are people here this morning... If you have gone correctly, you won't be where you are. That is the truth. Some few facts before we pray. Number one, the devil likes nobody. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. Number one thing, he wants to waste the man when he's here. After wasting him here, I'm put him to hell. And that Jesus came so that you can win here. And you can have eternal life. The two things. So understand the gospel. He came so that you will not just pass time here. You will live according to pattern of heaven for you. And not only that, you will have eternal life. Number two thing is, the devil is not omnipresent. He's not everywhere. He can't see everything. So what does the devil do? He puts his own SIM card into some people. You know what you call a SIM card? Uh, he gave them his own SIM card. His, his own spirit. Through which he transmits his message and instruction. So there are people who go around with the devil inside of them to work for him. And what does he do? He plants them everywhere. Plants them in families. Plants them at work. Plants them around men. Number three is that the issue of household wickedness is as old as the Bible. It is not a modern day story. The issue of household wickedness is as old as what? The Bible. And it did not start in Exodus. It started in Genesis. Cain could not tolerate his brother called Abel. And what did he do to him? killed him. He can't tolerate him. So, when I say household wicked, I don't think it has to do with uh, immediate uncle, but brother, mm, it stretches beyond that. Anyone who have access to you freely. Uh -huh. So, what does household wickedness stand for? It stands for wickedness initiated by members of the same family. What is household wickedness? It's what you can call a family terrorist. 
What is household wickedness? It is the spirit of destructive competition amongst people who share the same blood. So, his children must not be greater than mine. When you hear those kind of story, nobody can rise above me in this family. Anybody that wants to rise must die. That is it. What is household wickedness? It is violent and aggressive attack sponsored by people who share the same DNA. What is household wickedness? It is members of the same family that pushes innocent members of the same family to external lions for destructions. They know the other person is a lion. Then they will push the person. Go and meet the lion. And when a lion meets a man, that a hungry lion, when he meets a man, what does he do to the man? He swallows him. So household wickedness is members of one family that hands over members of the same family to external lion. So go and meet the lion. Go and meet the lion. What is household wickedness? It is enemies of your parents that has now become your own enemy. And can I say something to you? You can't love a man and you hate the children. You can't love a man and you do what? Hate the children. Why? You can't separate okra from the seed. You consume the two together. What is household wickedness? It is powers within the family that rewrite people's destiny, divert one in order to make the other one shine. Um, many years ago, I was praying with a sister, a banker, very brilliant banker. One day she got to the office and they told her, go back home. We don't need you again. I said, what have I done? I said, no. So she came to church and started praying. In the course of the praying, the voice of her mother, her stepmother was coming from her mouth. So she wants to shine above all of us. It's a lie. So I took her own glory and I gave it to my daughter to use it. Then say, no. So that is it. What is household wickedness? Uh, it's members that specializes in rewarding evil for good. Members of the same family. Who does what? Reward evil for good. Can I say something to you? The greatest thing you can give your family member is the gospel, not money. People you have given money to without the gospel, they will eventually fight you. No man finds satisfaction in money. It is in Jesus people find satisfaction. So giving somebody money, thinking that sorts him out, you have not sorted him out. If he does not have the spirit of God inside of him, the story will end as... What has he done? What did he do that no one has done before? That is it. Did you remember? Joseph went to look after them. That was, yeah, he went to look for their welfare, whether they were safe. But they were looking for how to kill him. So, members of the same family who reward evil for what? For good. What is household wickedness? It is the company of men around you that whenever you are in pain, they sit down to eat. That was what they did. As soon as they put Joseph inside the pit, what did they do? 
They sat down. And what did they do? They ate. People who, whenever they see your tears, they are happy. When you cry hard, you say, things are good now. When you smile, they are in pain. What is household wickedness? It is the power that rubbishes your praise. Whenever anybody praises you, you say, what, what has he achieved? They can't tolerate your success. They can't tolerate your promotion. When things work for you, they say, no, this is not good. This is not good. Let's pick some few lessons what they did. And let me say something to you. Never say this thing is in Africa alone. You will be deceived. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Totally deceived. Uh, I'll give you the story of the African version and the <laughs> Western version <laughs> so that I can understand. The first time I will hear somebody confessing was at a crusade. In that crusade, a woman started screaming, fire is burning me, fire is burning me. I said, why? Say, Nobody, we didn't understand it before because we've never seen that kind of thing before. I said, fire, 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 it's burning me, it's burning me. Then she started saying, tell my husband to forgive me. So what have you done to him? He said, whenever he's sleeping with her, the man was not sleeping with her, the man was sleeping with a goat. So, said, when they're on the bed, and the man think he's having intimacy with his wife, said, the man was sleeping with a goat. So the man started looking, huh? Said so it was a goat. That is African version. In Western world, you'll find a man who will capture his own daughter and go and report to the government that the daughter got lost and keep the child inside the building and keep on impregnating her. Uh, it's the same household wickedness in different versions. It's a different version. Can I beg you? Don't be naive. Don't be what? Naive. No, don't be naive. There are times God wants to talk to some people, but they will not hear. Because what God is saying to them is strange. Be careful of people who see no good in you. Whenever anything good about you is spoken, they shut it down. Say, so, what is it? Be careful of men who will never say thank you. No matter what you have done. Be careful of people competing with your parents. Don't be naive. 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 Be careful of people who speak well about you in your presence, but behind you they stab you. Be careful. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Uh, listen. If you are favored, your life attracts rumors. Another thing you must learn about Joseph is this. The problem 
of household wickedness is not who you are presently. The problem is that what you are capable of becoming. The problem is not who you are now. It's what you are capable of what? Becoming. And you can find that simply in their story, in their statement. Let us lay him and see what will become of his dream. I'm praying for somebody here. Whatever has made a vow to kill you before your manifestation, let, let them die for your sake. Amen. Let your amen be louder than that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So be careful of people who can't tolerate your dreams. Whenever you make up your mind, so something good is on your say nothing. Another thing I'd like to say here this morning is this. God created every man with glory. Psalm number 8 verse 5 says, so we'll say what is man that thou art mindful of him? Say, thou hast crowned him with glory. Yeah. But one thing is this. Men who have not discovered what God calls them, they fight people that discover what God calls them. What number are you now? Any number is good. The next thing I would like to say is that being spiritually ignorant can be fatal. Being spiritually ignorant can be what? Fatal. If you are ignorant spiritually, you will become a victim. Being spiritually ignorant can be what? Very fatal. It can turn a man to a casualty. Now, three things happens to a man if he falls into the hands of asshole wickedness. One, they remove the coat of many colors on him. And what is that coat of many colors? It is your uniqueness. That which makes you peculiar in the midst of the crowd. They take it away from the man. And they will naked the man. That's what they do. They remove this coat of many colors. And do what? Render him naked. The first time a man discovered that he was naked was in Genesis, Adam. And what happened to him as soon as he discovered that he was there? What did he do? He was hiding himself. He was hiding himself. So when household wickedness captures a man, they make him to lose confidence. Even though it's brilliant, they damage the confidence in him. <clears throat> Number two thing they did to Joseph, they pushed him inside where? A pit. That's the second thing. And what is a pit? A, plate, a pit is a place where man becomes invisible. He is alive, but he's underneath the earth. Alive, but where? Underneath the earth. It's not visible. Not visible. A pit is a position of loneliness. A pit is a place of darkness. No light in the pit. A pit is a place where you can't hear his voice. I'm praying specifically here this day. Any power on assignment to silence you by force. 
heaven shall silence them by force. Number three thing they did to him was they sold him off. How many people understand that when the Jews always pray, market of darkness, market of darkness, market of darkness, market of darkness, uh, what this is what it says. <laughs> a place where men are being traded into a place of bondage. Go and meet, go to Egypt. They trade him off. They traded him away. They sold him off. Listen very well. None of us chose our date of birth. We didn't choose that one. None of us chose the families that we want to be born into. If you have asked some people, where do you want God to throw you? Say, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> but can I say something to you? There is war inside palaces too. <laughs> you build battles. So stay where God puts you. <laughs> there are battles inside the palace. Yeah. Even in the palace there are battles. <laughs> But can I say something? Unfortunately, some people were born at war front. Where ought to cover them? That is where they get their the, the fiercest resistance. The place that ought to cover them and shield them from the lion outside is the place where the lion inside is pushing them to go and meet the one outside. Those who ought to cover them are the ones removing their clothes. Render him naked. Naked him. Naked him. Naked him. Naked him. Their own blood is bent on choking them to death. Their own blood is bent on choking them to death. A man's foe shall be members of his own household. All through the Bible you will see it. Abel had Cain. David had Absalom. Moses had Miriam. Jesus had Judas Iscariot. Because he's a member of his household. He had Judas Iscariot. But the truth is that nevertheless, in the midst of all this battle, you can still fulfill destiny. Amen. What do we do before we start praying? One, salvation is not negotiable. What the scripture said that whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. He that is not born of God will become a victim. Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. There are times when I talk to people in the office, I tell them the kind of thing you are facing, you need the Holy Ghost. Your human ghost can't survive this one. You, there is no way, you don't, no human capacity can help you except the Holy Ghost takes over. That time I tell people, don't bother to, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, go and pray until the Holy Ghost, come, because human capacity can't work now. Number two is pray for that baptism of the Holy Ghost once you are saved. Number three, Live a life of purity and love. 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 Some arts are already corrupted. They suspect everybody. Some arts are already what? Corrupted. They are compromised. So they see everybody as enemies. Mm -mm. 
what God expects out of you is real love. Genuineness of your heart to everyone. Three, not one to four, learn to hear from the Lord. Learn to hear from God personally. Learn to learn from God. Learn to hear. Cultivate a relationship from the, with the Holy Spirit where you can hear from the Lord. Because if you are not hearing from the Lord, you will be hearing from yourself. And you will call angels demons. And call demons angels. Thank God for pastors. When some people come to me and tell me revelation, I'll just laugh. Say, Abba. <laughs> and just laugh. And finally, which war? Against the adversary in prayer. Let me say this to you. If David did not kill Goliath, Goliath would kill David. If you refuse to rise up and defend your destiny, the person will become a victim. Let me round up this message with what our Father in the Lord shared with us. It was at a crusade. A girl came there and was confessing to witchcraft. She brought the person that was a, a brother, the only person, member of the family that was left, that one had hunchback. So any other person in the family said they are dead. And the girl raised up and said, I want to give my life to Jesus now. So what happened? Said the rest of them, she was the one who killed them. <laughs> but now she raised up her hand and said she would want to give her life to Jesus Christ. All the people educated in the family, she wasted them and left the hunch back that could not do anything. I'm praying that the wasters around you shall be wasted. The wasters around you shall be wasted. So understand it very well. If you fail to rise and defend your destiny, the story will be like this one proverb where I come from. It said, if you decide to leave your best garment in the hand of a madman and say, leave it with him, he will return it. By the, by, by the time the madman will return the garment, it will be rags. If you don't fight for your life, they will turn the life of the person to be a rag. I refuse to be a rag. It's a choice. I'm speaking for myself. I refuse to be converted to a rag. Rise up on your feet. Nobody will turn me to rags. No devil will turn me to rags. It was in a house. Oh, let me pray for all the parents here. Whatever wants to weaponize your children against you, let them be destroyed. Yes. Whatever wants to turn your children to bullets against you, let them die in your place. Uh -huh. uh, a girl who was initiated to witchcraft, young girl, and then she started confessing what she had done to her youngest brother. Said he has castrated him in the spirit. That he even though he married, he won't have a child. A boy that is still young, they have killed him at young age. Been castrated. Said he has castrated him in the spirit. She castrated him. So here this morning, all eyes closed. 
If you know you are not born again, please get born again. If you are here this morning, you are not born again. Being born again is not being fashionable. It's not a fashion. It is the part of life. So wherever you are, you're not born again. You've not given your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, just raise up your right hand. I want to surrender to Jesus. I want to give my life to this one who died and resurrected for the sake of saving me. Wherever you are, just raise up your right hand. Put that hand on your chest and begin to talk to God personally. Number two, if you are here, you know you surrendered your life to Christ sometimes, but what you are backslided. Wherever you are, raise up your hand to put that hand on your chest and tell Jesus, this life, I want to, I'm laying it down this morning. It will no longer be mine. It is going to be yours. The, the, Jesus came so that through him you might have life and have it abundantly. So wherever you are, that hand on your chest, confess your sins, confess your backsliding, and tell him, help me, 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 help me. Father, I thank you for all your children that are yielding to your voice this morning. I ask specifically that your own hand of salvation will be laid upon them. You will do in this world what the devil cannot kill again. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If you pray that short prayer, immediately after this, I've just come forward. Our ministers will want to pray with more with you. Please, I beg you, few minutes of praying, but please fight for your own life. Fight for your own life. Fight for your own life. If you are in this service this morning and you discover that people that can promote the family, they are dying. Senseless death. People, that, all those who can promote the family, they just kill them. But those who are destroying the image of the family are living long. Know that you should fight. Fight! Don't surrender. Fight! Don't surrender. Fight, fight. <laughs> we are going to pray this prayer that Surinam woman prayed. And pray it violently. There are people here, you don't know how to get angry again. Please get angry in the spirit this morning. Lest you give the adversary opportunity. Say, oh God, arise! Shout it better than that. And fight for me. Shout it louder than that. Shout it with anger. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Arise! Fight for me. Open your mouth. Yes. Arise! Fight for me. Yes. Yes. Louder, 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 louder. Manateleke teni namo yekota. Yes. Fight. Fight for me. Open your mouth. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Can I beg you? I'm seeing some sisters because of your gilly. Shake that prayer. <laughs> Pray. 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 Forget gilly. If gilly wants to fly, let it fly. Pray. 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 Say this one with anger in your spirit. Say it with everything inside of you. Say, the power, the power of our 
out all the witchcraft. Shout it louder than that. Shout it louder than that. Over my life. Duh! Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Let the power die in the name of Jesus. Let the power die in the name of Jesus. Yes. The power of all sound witchcraft over my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Manasa peleke kata. Bananana yeko tepele di namasopo. Bosana yeko yekata. Belende le nenete pere te yadi namo. Masape yeko tenan telendo. Shout it from your spirit. Louder, 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 pray. Oh, yes. Yes. Take an amanda ya boyende leke. Yes. Continue, continue. Continue. Make tepana nina yabo yekota. Baratene ne ne ba kotende ye ni namosa barana bara pele je kontende ye kosoro Open your mouth and pray Yes Oh yes Oh yes Ah ha In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, please get angry your spirit. If you are a parent here, please pray. 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 <laughs> pray. There are families who will not allow their children to marry correct people. They will push them to witches in order to keep them under. Your story must change. Yes. Say this one louder than anyone around you. Say powers. powers. Pushing me to external lions. To external lions. For, destruction. For destruction. Shout it louder than that. Shout it louder than that. Fire! Open your mouth! Set them a place! The power, oh yes! Oh, Tena Tamanaya! Beketene Nina Nambelo! Roka Yabashande! Open them out and pray! Yes! Oh yes! Masama Nama Lebele! Berente ye contoro, namu shapelena barato yaba, baseke tenanda ya ya yeyo, ye kapata beleko no. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Who is going to pray? While in Amsterdam, I have a friend. He just discovered every member of the family is super poor. Not only poor, super poor. Then he started drawing closer to God to pray. One day he went for a retreat, a, like what we call a deliverance. And while on that deliverance, as he was praying, suddenly, Somebody very close to him in the family appeared in his revelation and was trying to choke him that stop praying, go back. You can't pray. He tried to scream Jesus, he couldn't. He did everything, he couldn't open his mouth. Then suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared. As soon as that angel appeared, the woman turned back. 
And the angel told him, call him back. He said, come. Now the angel is here. He said, come. And then the woman came. And the angel told him, this brother, pick sand and throw it on his eyes. And then the revelation cleared. That was the very closest person to this brother. So when he had that dream, he said, no, it can't be true. It can't be true. By the time he got home, the woman was blind. And the woman told her, all those your girlfriend that you were sleeping with, you thought you were enjoying, they were our members. We sent them to you. We sent them to you. But it was after that victory, the brother's life changed. And he started going forward. Please pray here to this morning. He thought he was sleeping with girls and enjoying. But it was in that revelation, but everyone told her, you thought you were sleeping with girls. No, you are not sleeping with girls. We sent our members to you to make your life miserable. Please cry in prayer. Say, the same prayer we prayed before. <laughs> Say, powers. Pushing me to external liars. For destruction. Shouting louder than that. Die! Hope we have not killed them. Yes! The power pushing me to external lion for destruction. Open their mouth, open their mouth, pray! Yes! 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 Command them to die tonight, today. Besete pele ne koko, manatana taname yosaya. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. La petaya. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. One more because of time. But please, get angry. If you are in this meeting, you can remember they took things away from you in the dream. Keys, garments, wallets, you knew, wedding gown. All those things you can remember, they took some things from you. Please get angry as we pray now. You must take them back now. <laughs> Which by force. Go out in your spirits like a lion and say this one loud and clear. I take back my garment of honor. By fire, by force. Shout it louder than that. Shout it louder than that. I... In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth. Take them back, take them back. Yes. Open them out, open them out. Take them back. Get angry. Take them back. Basape le de de katepe meko tope ya yikaya ne le ni namo sopa barande ya kote nete tela masopo ye ni namo sopa ya yikaya nda ya 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 nde lente. Yes. 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 Take them back by force. Take back your garment. Take them back. <laughs> yes. Basepeleketende yendo. 
Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Yes. Just put your two hands in front of you at someone who has things to collect. Yes. 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 The wind instructed to blow your letters, the letter that will promote you away from you. Let the wind be silenced. Let the letter be returned. All eyes closed. Masokatate yekoshetaya lekoko tende yeni namosa. Yes. Yes. Take back your wedding garment. Don't say anything. Take them back. Yes. Masopenente yando yekoko tende lene. Yes. Take back your health. Don't say anything. Yes. Take back your health. Take back your health. Take back your health. There's somebody here you've not been sleeping well. Yes. Take back your sleep in the spirit. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back, yes. Ah, ah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Add this one to it and pray from your spirit. Just add one more. Say, whether the devil likes it or not, my destiny shall speak out. Shout it with determination. Shout it again. For the last time. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. And your loudest, amen. amen. I'm a winner, amen. amen. I shall fulfill destiny, amen. amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Quickly bring out your title and offering as a gift to God. If this message you add now concerns you, when you get home, go on our YouTube channel. How many people know that this church has a YouTube channel? Eh? Uh, go back on that channel and listen to it again and pray the prayers. The channel is MFM New York. MFM New York today. Father, we thank you for blessing our answer that we too can be a blessing. Accept our praise in Jesus' name. Every hand that is lifted here, whether giving first fruit or giving their tithe or offering, let the hand remain on top forever. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We'll give our offering singly, dancing for the next few minutes before we listen to the announcement.
You say He never changed from eternity to eternity. He'll be my hope. You say praise Him, Jehovah. He's the mighty God. He's Jehovah. He's the Lord of hosts. He's a Jehovah. Great I am. He's Jehovah. Somebody worship, somebody pray. Somebody worship, somebody pray. Uh, what are you doing? I am dancing. Come on now, 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 come on now. Oh yeah, dance, oh yeah, dance, oh yeah, dance. Let's dance, let's dance to the right, to the left. Oh yeah, dance, hey. Say somebody worship, somebody pray. Somebody worship, somebody pray. Somebody dance, somebody shake. Somebody worship, somebody pray. Somebody dance, somebody shake. Somebody worship, somebody pray. Lifted, and you know you're blessed. Let me see you dance. If you're lifted, and you know you're blessed, let me see you dance. I am blessed, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, do it again. Jesus, hey, again. Jesus. Jesus, do it again. Jesus, what Jesus they do. Jesus, what Jesus they do. Jesus, see what Jesus they do. My bread is sugar, my tea is bread, my... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Jesus, they do. Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to today's edition of our Sunday service. Our Lord God will surely answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Before going to our announcements, is there anyone I missed this afternoon who is worshiping with us for the first time? It is the first time that I missed. Can you please raise your hand wherever you're seated? Can you please rise to your feet, please? Please rise to your feet. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Please remain standing. Please remain standing. Can we stretch our hands towards our brother and our sisters and bless them? They want ourselves to be blessed. The Lord God will make it possible for you to be here this afternoon. The Lord God will truly defend his interest in, his, in your life in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have been beaten down, whatever the weakness of the wicked have been raging against you, the Lord God shall subdue them for your sake in the name of Jesus. As the body of Christ, we declare concerning you that you shall be victorious over every battle, over every challenge of life in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' holy mighty name we pray. Please have your seat. After the service, please come to this middle road here. 
in the front. Our minister will meet with you and pray more with you. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today at MFM Blake Avenue, USA Mega One Headquarters. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Our hold up service remains the same. Our service starts every Sunday at 10 a.m. And workers, let us encourage ourselves to partake in the workers' meeting starting at 9 a.m. Every Monday remains our Bible study and hour of power online starting at 6.30 p.m. If you do not have access to the Zoom platform, you can give your cell number and name to the technical department to gain access to our online programs and also our online notifications. And every Wednesday is a weekly manor water service. It's an in-person program where we gather together in a house. We come with a bottle of water and connect to the headquarters. Let us know that this Wednesday is a special one, the third part of the series. Stop them before they stop you. Uh, Please come in fasting and bring sand or soil from your environment or business place. And every Thursday is our weekly breakthrough hour. Where we, uh, breakthrough hour is also an online program starting at 11 a.m. running up 1 p.m. And every Friday is our weekly night vigil, which is also an online program. It's the same platform that we use for our Bible study and the breakthrough hour. And the program starts at 12 midnight every Friday, except the Friday before the power must change hands. Next Sunday, March 31st, our music ministry will be presenting congregational hymn and singing. The venue is the mid auditorium in here. Amen. And let us know that next deliverance program is scheduled to hold April 11 to April 14th. April 11 to April 14th. And there will be two sessions on Thursdays two sessions on Friday and one session on Friday. And the last part of the program will be one session on Sunday. Amen. Prayer warriors, let us know that there will be a meeting immediately after the program. Other program that we have for the women, our father already announced those uh, program. Amen. That's the end of the announcement for now. Any additional announcement we shall be hearing from the pulpit. Amen. My father, defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, defend your interest in my life. Defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, defend your interest in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, defend your interest in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Power wasters, assign to waste my prime. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I need to make a gentle correction. Whenever they ask you to give offering, please see it as an opportunity to express your love for God. God doesn't need anything from us. There is nothing in our hand that they didn't give us. So whenever they say give offering, I saw some of us will just sit down as if they have come to collect tax. <laughs> Please. You know, sometimes I used to say it. If you can't give it to God with joy, don't give it. Keep it back. Because the, the blessing that comes with the honor will be lost. The person loses it. That's why the scripture said, the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. If it's not going to be done as, ah, God, it's me you put seed in his hand. There are people who work better than us, they couldn't gather things. Please let us treat God with fear and understand how God works. Let us treat God with respect. Otherwise, we will be telling stories. So it's, in, it's not working for me. Yeah, it's not working. No. God has rules. May God help our hearts. Amen. Anytime they tell you, uh, let me say this. There was a day I was sitting by one of our AGOs in church, and they said they brought offering back, and I dropped it like this. The man was angry with me. Say so you gave God. Don't you know it is God standing in front of you? It is God you are giving it to. Then you don't. Can you give me something like that? As your age, you. You, if you want to give me something, there is a way you do it with honor. 
So, but if you are not seeing the spiritual side, you will be a religious person. You won't understand it. May God help our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the next few minutes, we just take a thanksgiving from the, the Archbishop <laughs> Chuck Obunzi and family. We'll call them forward, we'll take the thanksgiving, and then we'll share the grace. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.